So happy holidays again, okay, love? You are that light of the world shining through you comes so much, so much that's so important to the world. And you may not even realize just your presence on the planet has a, a, a special eminence and a job to do and that job is positive so if you find yourself wallowing in negativity that's probably not the job you were meant to do <laughs> but anything that brings you joy and brings you into your love and your your source that's why you're here do more of it and add to that that you are at a time in the, when the planet is in a huge transition in its climate and you got to look out for your family and yourself and each other and join this new green deal which is really exciting it's basically everybody dreaming up together since we've ruined the planet's ecosystem from what we have done with capitalism and the way we've, we've used fuels that aren't renewable this means that we get to rethink everything, like what got us here? And we, and we know that part of it was hatred of the feminine, fear of the feminine for hundreds and thousands of years. And the divine feminine being fearsome to people instead of awesome. So we're coming back to the feminine, we're coming back to inclusivity, we're coming back to, you know, uh, nature and music, Woo! and trains, how about trains, you know, new, new ways of technology that uh, use resources for many people without much um, consumption, yeah, but I wanted to say, you know, the fear of the times to come. People talk about how there might be looting and, you know, when if there's not enough food and, um, you know, I just wanted to say when, when the Oakland Bridge collapsed uh, a number of years ago, my mom was living right there, right next to the bridge. And what really happened was instead of a bunch of looting, the homeless people, the poor people, who were supposedly the dangerous people, they were the ones who were digging everybody out of the rubble. They were the ones who worked for days to save people when the um, police, uh, you know, the, the other people who were hired to do so were overworked and overburdened with too much to do. It was the homeless people that kept, kept it going. And then all these neighbors of my mom's, everybody started to talk to each other and ask each other what you needed and how can I help you? So one of the things I wanna offer you in the next couple of weeks are all kinds of ideas for you being a community leader in the times to come and what you need to know that helps bring people together and congregate people because when people come together with the common goal of protecting each other and helping the kids eat and all that sort of thing uh, it's amazing that 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 story of bone soup you know the soup that <laughs> just each person brings something a carrot a rutabaga an onion and pretty soon the whole soup is full and the whole community is fed right so that's what happens when people come together and, and they, and then you have more friendship and more community and all the things that were missing, you know, in your life, actually the, the disaster becomes this turning point where uh, community is happening. And that is 